the year. Oh, great on the lap, let our row down. We better get queuing now if we want a taxi. Oh, chillax, Ebenezer. I mean it, you won't get one for love, no money after midnight, and it'll be double the price. Yeah, he has a point, actually. We'll rush off our feet and so on. Well, it's only about eight o'clock. Anyway, it's Christmas. People are out having a good time. No, I'm not having a good time. It's dead noisy. You can't get served. When you do get served, they rip you off. Tell Jacob on cost me about six quid. Right. You dance floor now, David? No, I, I don't dance even when I'm not breathing, but so I'll, I'll mind the chairs. All right, don't matter. Uh, someone sat there. Are you the chair police? I'm a lady, if you had noticed. Where's your manners? Oh, go on, oh, please, these shoes are killing me. They were last pair in the sale, and I got the size too small. Yeah, well, it, it's their seat just down there, but when they come back, you have to be. Oh, I should warn me docks now. It's like a skating rink trying to get to the ladies' lap. It was a fight last April, she'll last be over, and she ripped the sink off the wall. We need a life raft to get to the hand dryer. I'm meant to be meeting a mate, but can't find her. Was she sort of this high? Dye blonde hair, plumpish? Right now, is it down? Oh, she was supposed to be here at seven. I phoned her. This is you, Barb, isn't it? Mm. You okay? You don't seem very Christmassy. Uh, it's just not been a good year. Yeah, but a great year. Like the previous 28. <laughs> You're meant to say I don't look that old. Uh, yeah, listen, you can have the seats, just I'm not really up for chatting. <laughs> she does not give a monkeys. I love it. And he's like a zombie. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's his scene, really. It's not mine, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, this dead nice bloke's chatting me up. I'll see you in a minute. She's in Subway. Uh, hey, can I have your seat back now? Cheers. Merry Christmas. And you. Water! I need water. <laughs> Some guys think I might get off in a minute. No, 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 no. Ah, I can have one more drink. Come on. Yeah, okay, one more. Come on. It's my round, actually. Um, No, my... I think that girl I was talking to, I think she didn't even want it. What are you doing here? I live here, though. How come you're not at work? Cold and sick. Well, you don't look sick. No one gets past you, Cheryl. You know what, David? I've got a poorly baby. If you're in one of them moods, don't bother. What's one of them moods? Sarcastic and nasty. All oh, right, as opposed to my usual bubbly self. Do you know you can't skive just because you've got a hangover? To have a hangover, you need to be able to buy drinks. You can't do that if your wallet's been nicked. Who buy? Doesn't matter who buy. What How matters... much money did you have? Well, only a tenner, but... The... Did you cancel your cards? No. My point is, there was a photo in it of Kyla. Well, you've got loads more photos. Yeah. Do you know what, Sarah? You just don't get it. Do you? Uh, a leather jacket. Oh, yeah. That's Shona. Nick your wallet, did she? Yeah. How do you know that? It's not the first time. You are? She does it to all the blokes. Some women, too. But if you know she's robbing people, what are you doing letting her in here? None of my business, is it? It's unbelievable, mate. So how often is she in here? Most nights. So it's a regular job for her, then, is it, stealing? Yeah, well, thanks for all your help, mate. Just stand here and wait, shall I? Drinking on your Todd? No, I'm waiting for someone, actually. You haven't been stood up, have you? Showed up. Where's my wallet? I'm sorry. I don't play games with me, Shona. I think you got me mixed up with someone else. My name's Camilla. Look, wait. I'm, I'm not going to go to the police or anything, right? You can keep the money. I just want my wallet back. Bet they want much cash in there anyway. Probably just a scrunched up tenner and a few coppers. Where is it? Oh, I think you're getting confused. 
We've never met before. And even if we had, and even if I had taken your wallet, I wouldn't be stupid enough to keep hold of it, would I? I'd have taken the cash and lashed it. So you've thrown it? I haven't done anything. I'm just saying, hypothetically, you know. After 11, one of the cleaners is going to come in early in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, go on, get yourself on. Thanks. I'll have a triple absinthe on the rocks, please, Phil. I'm getting annoyed. Right. Pine to this. What's up? I found that skank of a woman that nicked my wallet. Really? Of course, she swears by and she hasn't, but I know she's lying. You know what, man? He's going to have to leave him. I would swerve the Brennans after four o'clock. Dad's ex-army. One of the daughters is a Corbyn East to you. Chuck the Queen's speech into that. Bit. And boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the Ainsworths, you must call me in there. They are a hoot. <laughs> um, isn't that the... Um... Oh, it was the, uh, the Brennans. Yeah, yeah. You better get your excuses in early. Hello. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Lovely to see you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Sugar. Hello? Close your eyes, you'd swear it was Sherry. Here. Uh, no. Do <sighs> St. Mary's. Well, looked to my eyes in debt, and then Nathan, my ever loving ex, has a brainwave about how to pay it off. But since I've known Mary Magdalene, I told him where to stick it. So now I'm skin out of my ear, surfing sofas at my age. No family? I don't see them. Your choice or theirs? <laughs> Thanks, you're nice. My choice. Most of them anyway. I lost my son. And yada yada, you get the picture. Top up. Oh, no. So what's the plan? You gonna ask Matthew for some help? The vicar? God, no. I just came in for a warm. We should probably get going. Mm. Uh, no, this is, um, it's mine, actually. It was a, a present from me, Auntie B, on my ordination. Oh, it's all right. Me and the, the big fellow, we've had a, a bit of a falling out. Well, not me and him so much as his, his church. It's a hard habit to break. Well, Father, it's been nice meeting you. Why don't you um, come home with me? Have some Christmas dinner. No, no agenda. There's always an agenda. Well, I, I live with a partner and his mum. They're good people. His mum? Yeah. Todd. He's miles cuter than me. His mum's a rubbish cook, but she's very gentle. This is it. Number 11 in Coronation Street. Home sweet home. Is there a kebab shop round here? Erm, um, we'll be shut today. Sorry to disappoint. I still have my keys in the other... You know what? I'm not hungry. No, no, I'm sick of it. At least for a drink. Just get warm. Hello, stranger. Hello, stranger. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, you will understand. Todd, this is Shona. Shona, this is Todd that I was telling you about. Um, I said we we got some room at the inn. Third. I thought Al Jason had a big appetite. Is that your other son? Maybe the, uh, the one who's off travelling. Is um, is Jason coming home for the wedding? Because you'll want some guests, won't you, Mum? All right, Todd, you're not doing handstands. I get it. Shona, do you need to use a phone? You know, if you need to find a sofa for the night. Oh, I'm fine. Thanks ever so much, all of you. 
There's not many a tech and a stranger off the street, and you have made me feel welcome. She's got a big heart. Mm. You're too big for her own good sometimes. I'll see you later. Bye. See ya. Are you sure I can't run you to an hostel? Well, you've done enough. You should be with Todd. Well, I suppose I bet you got a good in here. Hang on to him. I'll try. See ya. Mm. See ya. Thought I'd never get you to myself. <laughs> What's wrong? I asked for a sign. I thought it was the job. It... It's shown her. Oh, my heart is racing. I feel it now. I, I know it. Billy, come on. We've talked about this day for weeks, haven't we? Hey? I've been called back to the church. I can do so much more there than I can as a civilian. It's where my heart really lies. As well with you. Oh. Oh, just get a drink. I think it's rude to phone on Boxing Day. I mean, he's bound to be busy. He's a bishop. He's always busy. But I, I need to talk to him to let him know I want to go back to the church, if that's possible. What do you reckon? I reckon it's very sensitive of you to worry about John's workload. Shame you don't seem to worry as much about your boyfriend this Christmas. Hey, I do worry about my boyfriend. I love my boyfriend. Yeah. Even though you'll never be able to marry him or live with him or have a family with him. Hmm? Oh, no. This is, is where I need to be. OK. Well, I'll just wait and hope and pray. Ha -ha. Choosing the church doesn't mean I love you any less. In fact, the, the fact that you're supporting me through this, it, it makes me love you even more. When did I ever say I supported you? <laughs> oh, I'm in a strange house with two strange men. Don't worry. You couldn't be any safer. I just uh, remember the house rules I told you earlier. And I told you I don't do rules. Now take me to bed. Oh, I bet you never had a woman say that to you before, have you? <laughs> right. That won't be a minute. Come on. <sighs> Take your time. Don't Ooh. mind me. Have fun. I know when I'm intruding. Going so soon? I'll be out your hair in a minute. You might want to check all my mum's knickknacks are still here. Hey? Well, them that aren't nailed down, that is. What are you talking about? I'm on she love. I don't know what you mean. She's a thief, Billy. Yeah. I found David's wallet in her stuff. You've been going through my things, that's nice. Oh, this is my house. David? Platt. What? He's our neighbour, you know. David's a single dad. His wife was murdered right out there on that street. You really think? He needs some low-life skank nicking his wallet after what he's been through. And I tell you what, it was you. In that bar that night, wasn't it? Eh? You were targeting him then, and now you're targeting us now, aren't you? Has it? Yeah, all right, Todd. Um, but maybe we should forget breakfast, eh? I told you I wasn't hungry. Well, let's go and get you into an hostel. Hey, Billy, maybe you should try phoning the police. Yeah, just leave this with me. Do you not care? She's robbed our neighbour. I said leave it with me. Come on, Shona. Golf. One night, Lena, she's been sleeping on the street. And where do you think the rest of them have been stopping? The Malmaison? on. Is she claiming housing benefit? Why would she be claiming that? She hasn't got a house. Mm. Is she registered with any day centres? No. No, she hasn't been homeless long. Right, well, I'll find you the address of a decent one. It's in Crumpsall, but it'll be your best shot. How's well, she meant to get there? She's got no money, she's got no job. Well, she'll have plenty of time to walk then. I don't make up the rules, you know. Shona. Hey? Shona. Little witch. Shona. Yeah.
right. Did you, uh, find her an hostel or what? Sort of. Except she nicked someone's purse. Tell you what, why don't you just, uh, give Fagan a call, yeah? Don't. Don't. It gets better. It was the woman who ran the place. I don't know why I didn't just take David's wallet when I had the chance. I put it back in a pocket. Duh. I just... I wanted to get her into hostel and then take it back to David and explain. Where is she now? I don't know. She, um... She did a runner. No one called Shona who comes here. Why? We should unto you. Sorry. It's my first shift, but I've been warned about her. All right. You see her? Tell me. She's meant to be bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Allowed in here. Well, let's pretend they're gender neutral. Hey? Oh, just stay calm, because the barman knows of this one called Shona in here. He's been told to kick her out. I'm quaking in my boots. Why are you running away from me? Just don't get it. Why steal from one person to give it to the other person you stole from? It doesn't make any sense. Because you made me feel sorry for him. David and the kids. It's heartbreaking. Oh, so it was my fault? Yes. And what if that worker at the shelter? I'm bothered about her. People like her are ten a penny. Job's worth. You spot them nice ones a mile off. She's not. You don't know anybody's story. Oh, I've got a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a bloke called Billy. And he was patron saint of lost causes. I don't think you're a lost cause. Well, I don't know what you're seeing me. There's a lot less than meets the eye. So why'd you come back here? It's a place you run away from. Sometimes you run and run till there's nowhere else to go. You do have somewhere to go. Come with me. Must be hungry. Let's see what we got in. I'm all right. I had a bag of Monster Munch earlier. Um, you know about a nice mug of soup? You haven't got your body, have you? Um, you are joking, yeah? All right, Todd. You brought her back here. Again, after everything she's done. Yeah, she's, she's pretty right, David. He's got his wallet. Oh, has he? That's all right, then. Is it start? It's pointless you two having a domestic over me. You know, this is not even my house. This is my mum's house. Look, I'll go. Yeah, I know you will. Billy, where is your respect for my mum? Where's your social conscience? Your heart? At the bottom of David Platt's wallet. Why are you still doing it? Oh, do one, will you? Shona, wait. <sighs> I've got to go with her. Billy! I don't want her left on her own. She seems to have done all right up to now. She is vulnerable. She needs help. Do you need help? It's just something I've got to do. Billy, where have you been? I've been worried sick. I've been with Shona. All night? Oh, I couldn't get her into an hostel, so I stayed with her. Stayed where? In a bush shelter. Billy, this is ridiculous, yeah? No, this is her life. I need to go and get a shower so I can meet her at the cafe later on. Try and find her somewhere else to sleep. And what if you can't find somewhere? Well, I'd have to spend another night on the streets, wouldn't I? All right. All right. You win, OK? I'll... I'll have a word with me, Mum. Oh, get off, you stink. Come on, get in there. So, take me out for a drink and then persuade me to let a thief live in my house. Well, I've, I've, I've got to know Shona and... I honestly think she's trying to change. Yeah, and uh, it'd only be temporary. So just until she gets back on her feet. Well, I'll have to run it past Pat first. So is that a yes? Yes, she can stay. Oh, oh get off me! <laughs> Give me a drink. It's not ideal. It's a roof over your head. And I appreciate it, I do, but it just feels weird. But if this is about David, look, he has got more on his mind right now than who stole his wallet. Just give it a try. It's got to be better than sleeping on the streets. I suppose so. Great. All right, let's go see your room. Get you settled in. Come on. Thanks, Roy. Shona, 
doing? I refuse. I was having a tidy up, got the vacuum out, but it died on us. You thought it was turning the place over, didn't you? The thought did cross my mind. Well, I just figured since you let me stay here, I'd do something in return. Oh, well, if it's a job you're after, I might have just the thing. What do you mean? Well, they're looking for staff at the cafe around the corner. I mean, I'd need to speak to Roy first. I can't. Why not? Because of David. Nicking his wallet in that. I'm sure no. We've got to be pragmatic. You've got no money, nowhere to go. That's for David. We'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Right. Hey, Roy. Um, I, I noticed you were you were looking for staff. Yeah, I, I certainly am. Um, well, I, I might just have the right person for you. Ta-da! Well, Mum's lots of stuff. It's not just fried. There's boiled, soft, hard, semi-hard. Scrambled, wet and dry. Poached, which is probably the trickiest of the lot. No more air around a piece of bacon, anyway. Uh, again, a potential minefield. It's back, streaky, crispy and smoked. It goes on. Um, oh, it's take it. Uh, Roy coffee. found someone, then? Yeah, yeah. great news, isn't it? Yeah, that's just what she needs, I reckon. Hygiene, of course, is paramount, but then again, so is customer satisfaction. I don't mind dealing with Joe Public, me. Yeah, I used to tour the estates and my dad selling batteries out the back of his van, so pretty gend up retail-wise. Do you fancy um, taking him for a little drink to celebrate? Uh, no, no, you go. I better go home and fire off some uh, emails about potential jobs. I'll um, see you later. First place. Thank you. Anyway, we should be happy that Shona uh, got it. As soon as she's back on her feet, the better. She should be out of here. Hi, thank you for calling back. Hi, Eileen. Sorry, I've got to take this wedding plans. Can you imagine how thrilling they've been to listen to? <laughs> What are you doing here anyway? I thought you and Courtney Love would be doing a celebratory can can around the rovers by now. I thought you'd be pleased for her. You know, I'm looking for a job and all. Well, you wanted it. I mean, but why would you think of your boyfriend when there's virtual strangers to think of? Oh, Todd, I never. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. I only went because of the wedding fairy. She forced me into it. <sighs> Look, on the, um, on the positive side, I do have some good news. Should I prepare to woohoo? Well, the bishop has given me my old parish back. How is that good news? Billy, we're back to square one. We can't live in the vicarage together. We don't need to. I told him my one condition was that I didn't want to go back there. I wanted to stay living here with you. And he's OK with that? As long as we say that I'm the lodger, if anyone asks. Mm. He certainly works in mysterious ways. Sacrilegious. <laughs> I'm talking about Bishop John. <laughs> mm. Get yourself into town and get a nice outfit. We're hardly splashing out anything else, are we? I'd rather go with you than be stuck in the cafe all day with rain, man. Don't be horrible. Roy's a lovely man. You don't think it's extravagant? Listen, we won't be getting married on the QT, but I still want it to be special. And I want you to look and feel amazing. Mm, I've been out with magic powers then, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's Anna? Is she okay? No, she wasn't last night. Um, are you free later? About lunchtime? Can be. Right, well, um, there's something that I need to talk to you about, so treat you to lunch. Okay. Thank you. Pop, uh, pop, uh, are you 20 pence? What? Uh, the bomb. You ordered it to eat in, now you're taking it away. There's a price difference of VAT. Right, just uh, stick it in the uh, charity tin, all right? Ah, oh, very kind. That's like crazy honesty. No, it's not. I would be overcharging. I'd also fall foul of HMRC if I don't apply the correct sales VAT. You are seven minutes late, by the way. Well, don't you think you're taking it a bit too far? I don't understand. If I overcharge a customer, I would always try and reimburse them. Cold food consumed off the premises has a different tax rate. Therefore... Farmgate. You think it's acceptable to overcharge people? No, but it's not like you're conning people out of millions because you're letting someone walk off with a cold sausage roll that they could have had for 10p less. I've got a leaflet somewhere. Explains the rules. I'll look it out. Brilliant. Uh, Sarah, could you pick the kids up from school for me? I've just got to carry on working. Yeah, yeah, I can. Do you want me to give him tea? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I should be home for about five. Shona? 
I was just checking the loose. Oh, just a sausage roll, Ta. Eating or take away? Take away. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What time are we getting dressed? Well, there's no rush. What about your hair? Oh, I'm going to one on Tile Street, booked in for 10 o'clock. I don't, I don't see why we've got to sneak off to Tile Street. It's not as if everyone's going to say, hmm, Eileen's had her hair done. Mm, tell you what, she must be getting married. Oh, well, why take the chance? <laughs> I feel bad discussing all this in front of you. I don't be daft, but do you want to see the photos? She can help you get ready. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm working. Hey, have you got you something borrowed? Not yet. What? We're just making conversation. Right then, campers, I'm popping off for a while. A couple of administrative matters to attend to. <laughs> I've got to go and um, see Michelle and Steve. Oh, I don't envy you that. It's been a grim few days, on it? Them two. I've seen Kevin's garage as well. Not that I'm comparing the two. Yeah, one's a tragedy. The other one is, well, mm. it's one of them things. But today, lest we forget, is a celebration. Hey. I'll drink to that. So <laughs> <what> it is. <laughs> see you in a bit. See you. What music do you call this, then? Uh, this is uh, Donizetti, Lucia de Lammermoor, uh, Act 3, Il Dolce Suono, I believe. The mad scene. It's opera, based on a novel by Sir Walter Scott. Right. You big opera fan, Roy? Increasingly so. You? Take a guess. <laughs> Since when? What can I get you? I see the new love interest. He doesn't look like much, but he's a wild man in the sack. Uh, make us an Americano, try not to poison it. If I had some, I would. Hey. How are you? I'm all right now you're here. Hey, uh, can I get you anything to drink? Eh, uh, no thanks. One toasted tea cake. Bethany? Eh, uh, nothing for me. Cheers. <sighs> Oi! Oi, wait! Wait! Wait, stop, stop. What? It was you, wasn't it? You nicked my wallet. I think you got me confused. No, I've not. What are you doing here? Look, I gave it you back and put it through your letterbox. Well, how do you know where I live? Well, I guess. No, you didn't. How? Your driving licence. Oh. Well, thanks. Anyway, I was grateful. Anyway, it's been nice catching up. Wait! Is that what you're going to say? Hi. So, what, what do you can want? I get you? Why don't you go upstairs? I can manage. I'd rather not leave you on your own. I know what I'm doing. I prefer to supervise. Would someone please take my order? Apologies. Why don't you go and butter Gemma's toast? I would like a nice cup of white tea, as opposed to the black tea I had to force down at breakfast because someone had drunk all the milk. I would also like two slices of brown toast because whoever drank the milk also ate the bread. There are advantages to living on one's own. Oh, I envy you, Roy. Here you go. Do I know you from somewhere? No. I'm sure I've seen you before. Well, I get that a lot. Maybe I look like someone famous. Yeah, that woman on the toothpaste advert. Uh, that really annoy you, Mum. Ah, Kathy. Hello, Roy. Uh, Shona, th th this is Kathy, my friend. All right. No, I don't know how much longer I can cope at number three. Yeah, what's it was saying the same this morning, um, Norris? You two are going to have to iron out your differences. It's not me and Norris who are the problem. It's Brian. 23 minutes in the shower this morning. 23 minutes. That is a little excessive. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm a sensitive person, Roy. Very sensitive. I need calm and routine first thing in the morning. All this stress is making me want to binge out on carbs. to get you when it was time to lock up. Of course, yeah, I'll come straight down. What are you up to? Uh, nothing. Oh, man, that 
makes me want to cry. Beg your pardon? No wonder you want to be downstairs all the time. I know what it's like to be lonely, to feel like you've messed your life up, driven everyone away. I am perfectly happy living on my own, thank you. Well, I'm here for you. That's all I'm saying. Oh, uh, good evening, uh... Shona. Of course. How's Roy getting on? Oh, well, bad poor bloke. In what way? I'm playing with trains, listening to classical music. I see. Says he's fine, but it's obvious he's lonely. Think he really needs a mate? of the wood headline. Occupied the entire living room. Mind, it did make it difficult to access the fridge. Might try that instead of a diet. Though, of course, I've got the spare room now. Yes, that, that would be much more practical. I've always fancied having to go at the Ribble Steam. It's only a mile and a half, but I'd relish the challenge of the swing bridge. You know whatever floats you both. Or your train. <laughs> go for it. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I think I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll put up some shelves for me paints and whatnot. I'll organise it. Yes. Going to make a start on that tomorrow. Oh, Roy, old oh, mate. You'll never guess what's happened. Think the different beans. Uh, you're a bit late, aren't you? Oh, do you mean yesterday? I did come by, but Roy said you finished it early. Well, I can talk now if you want. No, I don't. OK, actually, I'd like it if you went. I like standing staring into space and all, especially during the breakfast rush. Oh, sorry, where do you want me? Go and clear some tables. All right, come on, kids, let's go. But I haven't moved my toes yet. You should have thought about that, shouldn't you? You're going to be late to school now. Yeah, you and all. I'm waiting for Seb. I thought it might surprise me. Does Sophie come in on me and get kicked out of my room? School. What's up you, chicken? Oh, that's my bunny. Yeah, it's about this big. It's got ears and bean juice all over it. Uh, I haven't seen it. Sorry. Right, it's just one of mum. Um, if you don't get it back before bedtime, she'll kick off, basically. I can't see it anywhere, Lil. I tell you, we'll have another look outside. If I can't find it, I'll get you a new one, all right? Cheers. Places you find yourself. Yeah, Flopsy Bunny. He's been through a hot wash. Ugh, the smell of shepherd's pie. Found him in a bin, would you believe? She'll be fine now, though. Yeah, well, right, we can sleep again now. Hey, your mum said that. Oh, well, I just knocked on at the house. Well, you didn't leave it there? Oh, we'll look and drop him off there now, if that's what you want. Yeah, if you would, it's just sooner it get back to Lily, really, the better. But brilliant, yeah, thanks, appreciate that. I love living at high wings. I love our little gang. <laughs> well, except you've got the advantage of Todd actually liking you. Who likes you? You should have seen the look he gave me when I turned the radio off on Sunday. Um, never come between a gay man and a lame page. Why do you he join it? He looks for any excuse to give me side eyes. Oh, God, I love that film. Oh, no, it was, um... It was, uh, Bright Eyes. Actually, it was a song. Is this a cue? God, this place has got so much more popular since I was last home. No, we, we were just going in. All right, cool. Do you know that in the States, right? You don't say that you're queuing. You say that you're standing in line. Like, if I was to say I was queuing, they would think I was, like, dancing or something. Right. So what can I get you? Um, please could I have uh, an egg white omelette, uh, but with spinach? I mean, I'd ask for kale, but I totally get where we are. Did you not want a, um... Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, uh, an egg white omelette with spinach? What? Uh, no, well, we haven't got any spinach. There's not much call for it in here. Um, well, I'll, I'll just have an egg white omelette, but can I have, like, loads of black pepper in it and maybe some hot sauce on top? Are you second a mick? I'm sorry? No, I'm... I don't think she is. OK, I'll try my best, love. Go take a seat. Shane's is here, police car outside the Webster's house and not yours for once. 
I'll just finish Billy off and I'll be right with you, Kirk, all right? Do you think I'd suit headlights? Hey? I'm a hair. Uh, he means highlights. Nah, it's too short. The story of my life. That's what I was going to ask you, Billy. Mm -hmm. This Shona, what's the deal? Yeah. I think, um, life's dealt us some hefty blows. It's a shame, really, because she's got a big heart. Like my cousin Denise, enlarged. You see, she's also got very big pockets to hide stolen wallets in. Mm. Yeah, well, there is that. It's a... I'm just saying the Bible about giving people a second chance. Was that one of them Ten Commandments? You're, uh, you're up on your exodus, are you? No, I've never taken a drug in my life. Why'd you ask? It's just, right, the other day, our Lily, she lost her toy bunny thing before it was in the cafe. We went in, we asked her to show her if she'd seen it. She said she hadn't. Only next thing I know, she's collaring me in the Rovers and giving me it. Well, it's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, I don't know, she made a big song and dance about it. Mm. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I bet in your time you've been given a second chance. Yeah, and third and fourth. So. See ya. See Cheers. Ya. I can't believe you caught me singing to the chorus. Yeah, ah, uh, Lil made this to say thank you for, well, you know. Um. Bad day. It's just most people would think a three-year-old making him a card was kind of cute. Uh, no, it is. It's, it's just... Why are you always so weird? I'm not. Well, you are. I mean, you go out your way to make sure I get the rabbit and then you don't say anything. I mean, do you ever speak full stop? <laughs> it's fine. You know, I just forget it, suit yourself. Ever. Oh, come on, they weren't that good. No, you're an artist. I've been called many things, never an artist. <laughs> you're allowed to guess what those things are. I could start if you like. Have a terrific day. Yeah, you too, love. What? No, oh, forget it. No. Oh, oh, hope it goes okay with Adam. Let's just pray his exam went well. Mm, well, while I'm at it, maybe I will be praying for your attitude towards Shona to improve. Verdict. Yeah, yeah. Consider me an expert on all things braid related. Seriously, no, you've got a real knack for this, tell you. Oh, just makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what can I get you? Uh, nothing, thanks. Beth's yeah. just uh, stopped by to wow me. Yeah, talking of being wowed, Lily's really taken to you, you know. She has? Yeah, did you not forget the card she made for you? Oh, I did. And did you see that cute little drawing she did? Oh, it's the cutest. It already has pride of place on the fridge. Oh, she'll be made up. Yeah, it's right in between the uh, I don't do mornings fridge magnet and the photo of Jason and his uh, buddy smugglers, isn't it? <laughs> mm. And on that note, I'm going to go to school. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback. All right, kid. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Jonah. And, um, what card would that be? Well, I didn't want to hurt the kiddie's feelings, did I? Yeah, you know, maybe you just couldn't help lying. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you, Shauna. just don't trust you. Zach. It's Gemma. Gemma Winter. Good for you. I remember where I know you from now. The Dog and Gun. Uh, the Dog and Gun? Yeah, the pub on the pole, Robson Estate. I think you got me confused with someone else. You used to come in at dinner time a lot. Look, I'm really busy. You worked out that bookies round the corner. Your boss was dead slimy. He had more hands than an octopus. Look, I don't know yet and I don't want to. So, unless you're going to buy something, I suggest you sling your up before I really lose my rag. You can have a double LP. I actually want to apologise. Oh. Yeah, I was rushed off my feet and I'm not exactly the world's best multitasker. Join the club. 
Dev says my idea of multitasking is mucking up two things at once. <laughs> Don't get me started. My mum said if I was born with brains, it'd be dangerous. If I was born with brains, my dad would have wanted a DNA test. <laughs> well, anyway, about earlier. I come on too strong, did I? Oh, just a touch. But you're also bang on. We have met before. Boom! Knew it! <laughs> it was about four years ago at a house party. Four years? Who's who was it? Um, Diggy something. Diggy Shaw? No way! Yeah, I think you were dressed as a cowgirl or something. Oh, talk about epic fails. <laughs> it wasn't even fancy dress. <laughs> so, um, how do you know the digster? Uh, mate of a mate. Do you still see him? No, I give that lot a wide berth these days. He had a falling out? Nah, I just don't want to be that person anymore. Well, I better get back some cafe. Glad we solved the mystery. Me and all. Yeah, cheese and onion crisps. That's protein, vegetables. There's no point cooking for one, is there? Did you speak to Nick? Yeah, I texted him. Didn't reply. Oh, well. New baby and that. He's probably just got his hands full. Yeah, but not his baby. I think he's a fool. And not for taking on another man's baby, but th this is Steve's. He lives across the street. He's going to have to see him every day. I knew Leanne Battersby was trouble. Well, I'm sure we'll work it out. I mean, why does nothing ever go right for this family? And I'm not watching you. Eat that. As soon as this washing's done, I'm going to take you for a proper lunch. It's fine. Yeah, well, I might not be able to stop my children getting into trouble, but I can make sure they eat properly. Yeah, I'll bob round after work, babe. Um, about six. Yeah, OK. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, Ben. Yeah. Nick's still not been in touch. He'll be at work, won't he? He knows I'm worried about him. Oh, can we, um, get the bill? Sure. I'll call round the bistro and see if it's all right. Just tell him to get in touch, will you? I'll get him. Mm, thank you. Have you taken it? No. You must have. Yeah, I've got form. I didn't. It was hanging on the back of this chair. You could have easily reached in. What are you doing? You must have hidden it somewhere. Uh, come out from there. Ha! Huh? Uh, give me that. Open it. No. Because my purse is in there. It isn't. Oh, just open it. No, it's private. You can't make me. Well, we'll just have to wait till Roy comes back, won't we? And see what he's got to say. Roy might be ages. Don't care. We'd best get back home. Peter, we're enjoying the show. Gonna be all right, girl? Yeah, it's fine. I've got this. Make sure this stays in the till, yeah? Ah, Roy! This girl stole my purse. It's a lie. Uh, do, do you have any evidence to support your accusation? Yes, my bag was hanging off the back of the chair. She was mopping behind. No one else could have taken it. I swear I didn't. Well, it, if she swears she didn't, then why won't she open the bag? Because she knows my purse is in it. Oh, well, why should I? It's mine. It's private. It, it really is the logical thing to do. Happy? It, it appears you were mistaken. Mum, are you sure your purse was in your bag? Yeah, definitely. She must have hidden it somewhere else. Well, you're not doing a full body search. I, I, th I think you just have to accept that you, you were wrong. Roy, I think you should take more care about the people that you employ. I mean, I will not be returning as long as she's working here. And neither will my family. Come on, David. I swear I didn't take it. I believe you. I feel like everything's falling apart. Why? Because 
Steve opened his gob. I mean, it doesn't change anything, does it? It's not like he didn't know he was Oliver's father. Yeah, but we agreed you'd have nothing to do with him. He was just going to be mine and Leanne's, and now it looks like she's going to give him access. Well, she said that. No, 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 she hasn't. But she didn't want to fight. Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe fighting isn't the answer. It's not going to help you or the kid, is it? See? The kid. Can't even say your kid, can you? Because he isn't. And now everybody knows. Well, Max isn't my kid, and everybody knows that, including Max. But he still thinks of me as his dad, doesn't it? Difference is, you had Kylie on your side, didn't you? She loved you. She wanted you to be Max's dad. I'm not sure Leanne does. I think I'm going to have to cancel the credit card as well. Thanks. How was Nick? He's been better. I'm sorry, um, I think I've just found it. Good night, sir. It's okay. I found my purse at home. Hi. Sorry. And I will not be boycotting the cafe. I'm very glad to hear it. David, uh, wonders if you'd like to come around for your tea. Eh? He thinks I should make amends. But you don't. Well, I... Oh, don't worry. I don't fancy having me tea with people that accuse me of stealing anyway. Well, you can hardly blame me. Well, why did you bother coming? You're obviously not sorry at all. Shona. No, she's right. I'm not. And I wish I hadn't. should stay out of this, Daniel. How can I? Well, they're both adults. They will sort themselves out. Where are you going? To help Sinead. Sorry, what was that again, love? A tuna sandwich and a baked butter? I'll be with you in a minute. Well, whenever you're ready. What's that infernal racket going on out there? Oh, Sally's staging a one-woman protest. Now, she shouldn't be on her own in the lunchtime rush. Not much chance of a sandwich, then. I've only got one pair of hands. You're going to have to get in the queue like everybody else. Now you've got two. Yes, Kim. What can I get you? Oh, thanks for doing that. Not a problem. Not honestly, I'd have lost the plot if you weren't here today. That was well that ends well. <laughs> oh, wow. I only sent you around for a couple of custard tarts. Uh, she was rushed off her feet. My way of apologising. Again? Well, just think you're avoiding coming in and now she can't get rid of you. Sarah? Well, I've told her if she doesn't stop apologising, I'm going to get right to Banner for life. <laughs> no, seriously, though, I really appreciate it. You saved my life today. Well, if only I was this good at solving problems under my own roof. Right, well, did you get any? Get any what? Oh, my gosh, custard tarts. The older you get, the less you listen to. Since when did Dave ever listen to you? I mean, take tonight, for instance. Bethany's got this boyfriend, and Sarah's invited him round for his tea. It's a bit older, I think. Stood up by a vicar. First time for everything, I suppose. So, she giving him the once over then, eh? Absolutely. And I knew they wanted me to make myself scarce, even though I've met more Nathans and the rest of them put together. How old is he exactly, this Nathan? Ooh, no idea. Uh, I'm guessing 19, 20. No idea. And that's another thing. I mean, I've been through all this with Sarah when she was young. I mean, I know about teenagers going off the rails. But it's been there. Uh... In the morning. I don't know what that woman does in there. Well, let's just say the ageing process has been kinder to some than to others. And I bet she has low lighting. <laughs> oh, have you hurt yourself? Oh, um, yeah, I was, I was, um, well... Before I came here, I was I was in a relationship, and let's just say it wasn't a good one. And he did that to you? Believe me, Gail, that's nothing. Well, it's not nothing. It's abuse or it's assault, but it's not nothing. How long did it go on for? Longer than it should have. You know, it's the usual story. I loved him and I thought he loved me, and then I got into debt. Well, he got me into debt, and let's just say it wasn't a healthy relationship. Oh, please tell me it's all in the past. 
Listen, I better get going. Oh, really? No, right, I want to grab a bath while I can. It must be nice. Yeah, it has. Where's your friend go? For a bath. All oh, right. How's Oliver? That's <laughs> great. Lovely. And what about Steve? Oh, uh, well, uh, it's been very quiet here. Yeah. Well, maybe he's seen since. I'm not counting on it. We've got chemistry, and apparently you're giving off all the right signals. Well, I think she might find that's my electronic tag. <laughs> Just try not to jump on me, all right? All right, I'll join with you, Joe. <laughs> Do you know what? That's cheered me up no end, that has. Where did your mum get these mad ideas from? My money's on senility. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to have a little quiet word with her? You're joking, aren't you? We're going to melt this for all it's worth. Oh, you're so bad. Yeah, so can I count you in? Yeah, definitely. Won't miss this for the world. Didn't we, Nick said? He needed to hear a few home truths. He just needs our support. Well, hello, love. Come here, Gail. Anyway, I didn't come here to be berated. I just wondered what you fancied for your tea. Not really fussed. Right, tuna lasagna it is, then. Ooh, it's Liam's favourite, that. Really? Really? Yeah, you can't get enough of it. Well, my mum's always doing loads. I mean, you're welcome to join us if you want. Oh, no, I wouldn't want to intrude. No, oh, don't be daft. More the merrier. Well, as long as you can have me on by seven. It's either that or a police raid for dessert. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, we're probably overdue. A bit of the old Bill action, aren't we? <laughs> don't listen to him. We'll have you home in plenty of time. Right, well, then, uh, I'd best get a wiggle on them. See you later. Can't wait. Go <laughs> for it. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Found it. Oh, he's a crafty one. It's not Meg. Can I borrow this? Mm, knock yourself out. What's a big occasion, anyway? Well, I don't suppose it would harm to tell you. You, um, you know Maria, don't you? The girl from the salon? Yeah. Well, she's coming round for a tea. And why is that front page news? Because David invited her. OK. But not as a work colleague. Got you. Huh? So, he's back in the game, so to speak. Touch wood. And I'm guessing this is your handiwork. Well, I might have fanned the flames, but David took the initiative. You don't seem convinced. No, I think it's brilliant, honestly. If anyone deserves to find happiness, it's David. Yeah, well, it's early days, but uh, there's definitely a connection there. She seems like a really nice person. Yeah, she is. Mind you, she has her own fair share of baggage. Yeah, well, maybe David's the one to help her unpack it. Oh, that's a lovely sentiment. She also has an electronic tag. That just makes her exotic in my book. That's one way of putting it. Still at sisters, but she rang and said she's having a nice time. Hey, which is more than I can say for her hobby. How do you mean? Oh, he was in a right mood this morning. I reckon it's because he's not getting any. <laughs> Mind, if that were true, I'd be in the mood all the time. Yeah, me and all come to think of it. <laughs> we'll see you we'll later. See you later. Uh, can I get two cokes, please? Want some ketchup, darling? You don't have to be nice to me when your mum's not here. Mate, I'm always nice. We are going to have to tell her at some point that we're not together. Why? It's better than a real relationship, isn't it? Are you joking me? David. All right, all right, let's just have one last bit of fun then first, OK? We'll invite her round for tea tonight, all of us, and we'll just uh, we're celebrating. Celebrating what? <sighs> What's going on in that little head of yours? Shut up, <laughs> indulge me. <laughs> right, well, yeah. Amazing, but we can manage now. Yes, all right, I'll go when I'm ready, thank you. Before I do, I want to know what you two are playing at. What? I just thought it'd be nice to have a tea together. Yeah. Mm. Go on, get gone, we're fine. I'm going to taxi. Oh, it's my mother. Quick, get inside. I can't believe you make him do this. You're such a bad influence. Oh, winding me mum up is the only bit of pleasure I get in my life. Yeah, she smiles at me, David. It's just excruciating. <laughs> Hi. You wanted to see me. Are we still on for tea? Yeah. Yeah, and listen, Mum, uh, while it's just us, there's, there's something we wanted to tell you, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, well, it's one of the reasons why we've asked you around for tea, actually, tonight. You see, it's, um, 
Well, it's, it's to celebrate because we're getting married. Married? Yeah, well, we're engaged, you know. We're, we're taking things steady, really, for the sake of the baby. <laughs> lady just leaves him 20 grand just like that it's amazing yeah it is and the funny thing is he didn't think she even liked him he must be dead made up i think he's in shock more like oh and the other news is that him and maria aren't really an item it's all a joke apparently at my expense shame thanks well, you know what david really does deserve some luck I am honestly dead, dead sure for him. See ya. All right, so come on then, what are you looking so dreamy about? What? Oh, <laughs> nothing really. Well, it's got to be a lot more cheerier than what's going on in my head, so come on, cheer me up. Well, to be honest, I was just thinking about how I'd spend 20 grand. Hmm. Oh, yeah, do you know what? I used to do that. Just before the lottery came on with the results, I'd sit there working out, you know, how I'd divvy it all up. A little bit for our Gary, some for Faye. And then after that, it's back to the reality that I can't even afford to buy him a chippy tea. Mm, you know how you feel. Look, honey, you know, I'm really... Oh, sorry. no, don't, don't, don't be daft. One of these days, eh? Hey, hi, sweetheart. Right. It's not much, but... Take this. No, don't be daft. Seriously, I've got loads of work at the brewery. I can afford it. Uh, well, no, you earned it. It's your money. Hang on to it. Yeah, but I don't know about chips, that's all. I've got some stale bread at home. Maybe a bit of jam. No, we want chips. Listen, I'll toast it for you. It'll be fine. We want chips. We want all right, chips. All right, we all right, all right. Shush. Doing my head in. Maria, can you take them for some chips, please? But I want the change. Oh, I'm still tight, despite rolling in at sea. Ha uh ha. -huh. Right, come on then, kids. Chips on David and then back to mine. Uh, to share. Oi. All right? I'm not as all right as you, am I? What do you mean? Holiday in some flash theme park, cash in the bank. Yeah, well, the theme park was Sarah's wishful thinking. <laughs> you know, Mum and Kev are struggling to survive. They're about to file for bankruptcy. Sorry, but what's their bankruptcy got to do with me? Well, I'll tell you, shall I? Mum's having to deal with that on top of everything else. So the anxiety, not being able to work, hating the way she looks, that, that's to do with you. All right, Gary, I'm sorry, you know that, but I don't know what you want me to do. Well, you're walking around planning holidays. Just getting on with your life when you've pretty much ruined hers. Yeah, I know, I know, you're sorry. But it's not enough, is it? It's not nearly enough for what you did. I've got enough people judging me right now. I don't need you and all. What are you, the guilt police? Oh, that's all I can do, isn't it? Oh, no, sorry, David. Love, we're closing early. No bank holiday in that. Wait, it's you I came to see, actually. Have you got a minute? Uh, um, yeah, of course. I'm just going to put this in the freezer. Uh, you see, I've come into some money recently. Oh. And, well, long story short, I wanted you to have it. Me? Why? Well, you know why? Because of the accident. No, David, like you said, it was an accident. Yeah, but you have to take it, all right? It'll help, and I want to help. It'll make things better. No, no, you have to think about your kids. You have to help them. Yeah, I have thought about the kids, and we'll be fine, all right? We'll, we'll be all right, so please. Oh. £19,000? Yeah. Oh, I can't take this. You can, honestly. Just, it's, it's fine. I want you to have it, so please. Oh, thank you. £19,000. £19,000. Oh, it's been nice chatting. Yeah. Now, are you sure I can't tempt you? Um, no, I better not. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go and tell my dad. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. His master's voice. To let him come and go as he pleases. Hey, does he have his own key? No, he rings the bell. You should put your phone number on his collar. It could be a good way to meet girls. Yeah, I think he just escaped from the back garden. You said 10 o'clock. Mrs. Kitchen, yes. I'll be with you in a minute. Eight minutes I've been sat in there making small talk with that dim one. Yeah, well, I just need to get this dog back home. I beg your pardon? Do you want me to do it? 
I'm not going to give you my house keys, am I? I'll be on that trip advisor, David. Ten o'clock, you said. I'm there in the diary. Where's your gran? I want to make a formal complaint. It's all well and good saying you can do me on a bank holiday. Yeah, put your scissors where your mouth is. There's no cash in the house, all right? Don't touch anything and don't go in my bedroom. Oh, yeah, like I'm going to rifle through your underwear. Right, come on then, Mrs K, let's get you looking stunning. I expect you to knock something off. Believe me, I'd love to. It's nice food. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah. Appreciate it. I mean, when you think of what David could have done with the money. I mean, what are people going to say when they realise David gave £20,000 to Anna Windus? Oh, 19. You might begin to question. Yeah, no, I agree. They're going to think he's a saint. Exactly. They'll smell a rat. Mind you, what are people going to think? Well, maybe he um... tried to turn his car into a suicide bomb and he tried to blow up a prison van. I just think... It's over with now. He's paid her off and no-one's asking any questions. Is David in? <coughs> uh, he's doing this his kitchen's roots. Oh, that old hag. So who's upstairs? Uh, David asked me to bring the dog home. I uh, had to spend a penny. I hope you don't mind. Shona, I don't suppose you heard what we were talking about. Yeah, I heard it. Every single word. I'll do my best. Well, what could I do? Watch him go to prison? My grandkids had just lost their mother. There is such a thing as right and wrong. It was grief. Oh, and you think the boy in the prison van deserved it? David had been through a very traumatic time. Does Anna know all this? And neither does the police. It's complicated. Oh, because your daughter's going out with Anna's son? David gave her £20,000. 19. He isn't dangerous. <laughs> oh, the poor cow. Do you know, she thinks he's done her a favour. You can't tell her. Who says I can't? To himself, why didn't he get him any help? Was he actually going to kill himself? The boy in that van, the bloke driving it, whoever else was there, the, the guards, the other prisoners. Anna was unfortunate, but it could have been a lot worse. Oh, I should be doing some serious time. That's why I need you to see this from our point of view. It's up to the courts to decide. You, you can't keep quiet just to save your own children. If you ever have kids of your own, you'll understand what I was going through. I'm sorry, Gail, but it isn't up to us to decide. There are, Mrs. K. You look a million dollars. You took your time over it? Yeah, well, with my favourite client, I like to make sure I get it right. I haven't got any change on me. Where have you been all this time? What about the keys? You disowned me. You haven't wanted anything to do with me for years. So what's changed? Well, I, I thought I should forgive you. For what? For everything. Starting from when you chose to live with that waster. Oh, here we go. And ending last July when you took a young woman's life. Which I'm assuming you regret. If it had stayed with me, you will not be in here. 
you're hardly standing there with your apron on when I got home from school, pulling apple pies out of the oven. You gave me a fiver for my birthday one year, then took it back off me. I borrowed it. I had to feed you. I'm better off in here. You're a child. So why didn't you know that when it mattered? I tried my best, but he was such a bully. And so are you. I'll come and see you more often. It's typical of you, this. You want to make friends with me now that you can pitch up, say hello and leave again. I tried and tried to make friends for years. Did I have to kill someone to get your attention? No. You didn't have to kill anyone at all. If you could see the damage you've done to her family. Why? What would you know about it? I don't know anything about it, but I know how I'd feel if it was you lying in the ground. <laughs> you go out and celebrate. I should never have let your dad worm his way back into your life. He's the only one who tried to help me. Just like him. Yeah, well, it's better than taking after you. Do me a favour and don't visit me again. OK? Yeah. Hiya. Hey, Shabby. Hiya. Oh, I'm so sorry, Emily. Mum made me go to this stupid meal. <laughs> Gave me a lift. Yeah, I didn't think you were coming. So, what's it like? Well, it's, uh, it's all right. <laughs> Anyone bothering you in here? No. No, not really. Don't get into any fights, whatever you do. We'll keep you in for longer. Faye's right, but also don't shy away from anybody. You let them know you're here. Yeah, yeah. So, tell us about your meal. We just went to the bistro. Told. Nobody. Roy's been expecting you all day. Tell him I don't feel up to it. Come home with me. I'll make us a cup of tea. Look, I'm not going to grass on him, so you can stop trying to be kind to me. I'm being kind to you because we're friends. At least I thought we were. So did I. Something you're not telling me. You can't trust me, you know. Why are you taking this so badly? He's no better than Clayton. Why should he get away with it? Well, he didn't go through with it. Clayton Ibs did. You know his name? Of course I know his name. I'm his mother. I know what you must think. I doubt that very much. Well, you're wondering what my game is. I stand corrected. As soon as I saw that photo in his wallet, I knew exactly who he was. I've seen all the pictures in the news. Then what on earth are you doing here? Oh, it was just bad luck. Billy offered me somewhere to stay when I was on the bones of my backside. As soon as I realised where I was, I couldn't believe it. This wasn't the plan. But everyone had been so nice to me, especially Eileen. Imagine having a complete stranger coming to live in your house. You jumped out of the frying pan into the fire where she's concerned. You should hear what she says about you. But it's all lies. <laughs> I stick up for you, though. Yeah, well, charity in a strong suit. Before I knew it, I was working in the cafe. How you had the brass neck to stick around is completely beyond me. You look my grandkids in the eye. Oh, I care about them. I'm sorry. Oh, it sounds ridiculous, I know, but I wanted to make sure they were OK. I felt responsible. You didn't kill Kylie. Well, a mother always feels responsible. Don't you? Could you let him move out? It wasn't a case of letting him. I nagged him to clear up after himself and I couldn't afford an Xbox. I was out all the time. Doing what? Working. And getting into debt. He was forever at my sister's or his auntie's or my neighbour's. I threw him a birthday party once and his dad turned up out of the blue. He literally had his foot in the door and I was stupid enough to let him in. They took it from there. So it was his dad that turned him against you? And his stepbrother, Maka. He'd done all right in school before that. He had nice mates, it was funny. After he moved in with his dad, something changed. The school were phoning up all the time and he was skiving and 
starting fights, hanging around in the pub in the afternoon. I did everything I could to get him back, but he didn't want to know. They did him for shoplifting one day. And then he threw a slush puppy over Mrs. Lum, our next door neighbour, and I pretty much gave up trying. Don't blame you. I used to kid myself that the reason he stayed at his dad's was because he had Sky. That's what I thought it all boiled down to. Watching City. And then this happened and I couldn't explain it away. I didn't even go to his trial. I, I couldn't bring myself to see him. Until today. Oh, I just wanted to hold him like I did when he was little. Nobody sets out to raise a monster. He isn't a monster. I know what he was like. I was there. He got led astray and I couldn't get him back again. So are you going to tell David? Or shall I? Because he's going to find out one way or another. I don't think he'll take it very well. You didn't kill his wife. Maybe I haven't got as much faith in him as you have. So what do you suggest? I won't tell anyone about David. If you don't tell anyone about me. It's a deal. Take him if you like. Ah, oh, you're fine. I could do with getting out of here for a bit. No offense. You love kids. Get off, okay? Yeah, fine. Thanks. Help yourself. Ta. Hmm. We've reviewed to see that dog this morning. Come on, David. You know his name. Fine. Have you seen David the flaming dog? Only I think he's got an out through that gap in the fence again. Well, I thought you'd be glad to see the back of him. Or have you started to like having him around? As if. What, if you do see him, you're just slinging back indoors? Oh, and if you bump into that Shona, can you ask her for me keys? I asked her the other day, but it's just blanked me. Why is it all the women round here are weird? Present company accepted, of course. Yeah, whatever. Right, I'm off to work, see ya. Bye. Oh, how can you act so normal after everything that's happened? Because that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Anyway, I told you, I spoke to Shona, and she swears she will not tell anyone what she knows about David. You believe her? Yeah. I do. He's happy. Oh, oh. hiya. Yeah, we're going to have to stop meeting like this. Well, that's going to be hard, seeing as we live in the same house. No, I don't mean here. I saw you yesterday at the Young Offenders Institution. Me? Yes, you. Unless you've got an identical twin sister. <laughs> I was going to ask you about it last night, but I didn't get the chance. So, who were you visiting in there? Um, my nephew. He's got six months for twacking. Shame. Who were you visiting there? Some young lad I know got himself into trouble. Well, let's hope him and your nephew have learned the lessons, eh? Yeah. See ya. See ya. Hey, what are you doing? Come here. Where are you? Out of there, you. You've got to be kidding me. Sorry, I had to come sooner. It's just kind of short staffed at work and um, really busy. My grand's all bandaged up. Yeah, well, if you could just get your dog, only I've got things to do. Yeah, fine. Where is it? Behind the telly. <laughs> what are you doing behind there, you plank? Come on. <laughs> David. I'm not messing about, all right? Come on. Come on. Look, have you got, like, a biscuit or something? Yeah. Just not a chocolate one. How's things with you, anyway? You... All right. Terrific. We'll see if he gets a whiff of that. Oh, come on. Right, you got your dog. See ya. Yeah, can't wait. Oh, have you, you got my keys? Yeah. Well, thanks for the biscuit, anyway.
hope I'm not intruding. What do you want? I saw David. He said he'd spoken to you and you seemed angry with him. Maybe because I am. Carry on like this, he's going to realise something's wrong. Yeah, well, he's not the only one. What do you mean? Pat saw me at the Young Offenders Institute yesterday. Pat Phelan? What was he doing there? Visiting some lad he knows. I told him I was visiting my nephew. Did he believe you? I think so. I just don't know how much longer I can keep lying to everyone. We need to sort this. All I want is for you and your family to leave me alone. What? This, this is mine. You've already had your dinner. Paul? Is your Paul? David? Paul? No, stuff it. Yeah. We'll work on that. I do one, furball. Hiya. Hiya. Where is everyone? Uh, Lily's asleep. Max is in his room. I don't know why Gail or your mum is. She's probably out stirring a cauldron somewhere. Can you do me a favour? Depends. I'm gonna go upstairs and grab my stuff, but will you tell my mum that I'm staying at her mates? A mates or your geriatric boyfriends? Does it matter? Well, not to me, no, but I don't think your mum's gonna be best pleased. Mm, well, she's just gonna have to get used to it. Mm. Sorry, Q was out the door at the bank. The lights have got the stuff for me this afternoon. What happened to you? Eva shoved a cream on in my face and some of it went in my hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Why? I told her her sister's a prostitute and that she probably charged Steve for sex. <laughs> wow, you're the gift that keeps on giving. All right, David, I know what I'm doing is wrong and that Eva's a lovely girl and all that. Yeah, and Aidan knows that as well, doesn't he? That's why he's still with her. Yeah, well, he might be a boyfriend for now, but I know that they're not right for one another. Are you sure about that? Or is that just wishful thinking? Well, I just hope he's worth losing a good friend for. He is. Found him outside our house again. Well, there's no reward for bringing it back. It's not funny. He's going to get run over one of these days. Well, I'm sure it knows the green cost code. No hurry. Hey, David, David, you got a minute? Uh, as long as you don't want to talk about road safety for dogs. No. Um, we're doing a bring and buy sale at the community centre later, raising money for a new play park. Uh, looking for volunteers. All right, good for you. Uh, well, I thought that Lily might like to come down and help out. I bet you'd love to bake us some cakes, wouldn't you? See, and then you and your dad can come down and sell them later. Yeah, it's, um, we've got plans. But I want to bake cakes. Thanks, Vicar. Well, with the money we raise, we're going to build a brand new play park with a slide and a roundabout. I'll swing. Uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see about five-ish then, yeah? <laughs> Ooh, well done, you. These are amazing. Not a problem, Mr. Vicar. Yeah, right, well, uh, we best get off. Oh, I thought yeah. Lily might like to stay and help sell her cakes. Yeah, sadly, uh, we need to be somewhere. You said we're all going home to watch the telly. But I want to stay. Look, uh, Shona's over there, she's on her own. She could really do with an hand. Yeah, you can have Hello. Turn out. No, I've surprised myself with this one. Oh, look at you all pleased with yourself. <laughs> Is smugness the eighth deadly sin? Hey, I've worked hard on all this. Ah, oh, well, you never know. They might name the swings in your honour when they build this play park. Hey, yeah, yeah, Billy's magic roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is. Weatherfield's own Judas Iscariot. Lower than a snake's belly. Charming. We heard you on the radio earlier. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of trying to win him a prize. Oh, my word, I'm so sorry, Sean. Mm -hmm. Well, happened, you should be. It, it's a three-day break next week. I, I, I wanted to win it for you. Oh. You can take whoever you want. Oh, come on, who else would I take? 
So it's six cakes for a fiver. You're not going to get a better deal than that. She's made them by her own fair hands. Thank you. Sell to the woman in blue coat. <laughs> <laughs> How do I compete with a saleswoman like you, eh? And there was you about to rush off with things to do. Yeah, right. Oh, well, busy man. You know, family to look after and that. It's all right for you. You ain't got any responsibilities, have you? And what do you know about my life? Right, I'm joking. Well, you know nothing about me. Whereas I know for certain you've got something missing up there. Do you want to spit in that before I take it over? You don't miss much, you, do you? You need to work on your poker face. <sighs> oh, Faye, what have you forgotten now? Now I am... Um... Actually, please you need me to take to school. Faye, you think I didn't have enough to do? I mean, it... It's all kicked off at young offenders. What else? Thanks, love. There's been a scrap or something. Said I had to hang up because he was on lockdown. Can we go and check he's OK? No, Faye. Well, he said there's a room that someone got their head staved in. Yeah, not Seb, though. No, that Clayton. There you go. Silver linings. Well, what if he dies? We'll be in lockdown for days. We need to go down there and see if he's OK. No, Faye. School. Duty social worker, please. Hatchfield aren't telling me how are they doing because you've told them that you'll handle it, won't you? Why does everything have to be a constant battle? Will you just tell me which hospital Clayton's in? Because he's my son as well. Yeah, well, I'm going to find out whether or not you... Hey, Anna, thank you. Thanks, Rita. Hey, there's two decent uh, vouchers in that one. You and Maria should cut them out before your customers get their mitts on them. Yeah, I'll do it. Being sneaky doesn't come naturally to Maria. I don't need to pressure into anything. Sure, but if the prize is good, what do you say, Aidan? Wouldn't like to comment. <laughs> hey. Hello. I thought you'd have been out raising a glass. I'll have a paper, please, Rita. There you are. To what? Thank you. What? To the bad guy getting carried off in an ambulance. Whoever was that? Clayton. Why, what's happened? Well, apparently, there's been some trouble at that Borstal place. He's had the blue lights to hospital. And it's not looking good for him, by all accounts. You haven't hired a hitman, have you, David? Thanks, Rita. Right. Yeah, bye. Oh, heck. There you are. You're good. Hope he dies. Well, um, does a bladder pop like what a balloon pops? Well, I know, I know the stretching and everything, but you see, I've had these and I'm going to have another one. And when Kylie was pregnant... Is Liz on? Uh, yeah, she's um, doing what all good robust landladies do and she's serving Betty's finest hot pot. Blimey, did you knock that last one over? Hot pot! Where's Steve? Uh, he's out. Why? Taking Ollie B to the beach, has he? Ollie B, what's his middle name again? I'm not talking about his middle name. And what's it stand for, though? Why did you want to see him? Which beach has he gone to, Liz? I'm not sure. Same again? Uh, yeah, and uh, whiskey chaser, please. I will tell him you were looking for him. The B's only B in Steve's head, as in Plan B. Back up, baby. Hey. I hope you're not in charge of the scissors this afternoon. I'm like a ninja with my snippers, mate. Oh. Hey, I've been ringing you. I've just done two of your clients and another's walked out. Let me guess, is it Mrs. Peterson? Only the boy will do for Mrs. Peterson, not Flouncy Maria. Yeah, well, Flouncy Maria has been run off a flaming beat. Right, I'm going to have to cancel the rest of your clients this afternoon. Look at the state here. Now, that was a flounce. It does sound like you left her high and dry. Well, today is the best day of my life, so... No, today is the best day of my life since the worst day of my life, so... My best. Hope it's Clayton's last. <sighs> You're late, and don't you dare think you're getting paid for today. Yeah, I love it. Oh, well, I had to help a mate. She had an emergency. Her son was he was rushed into surgery, and I had to take her to the hospital. Oh, dear. Is he all right? Oh, we don't know. Well, his dad was there, and let's just say things get ugly whenever he's around, so we're going to call up later. Well, I couldn't be a doctor. 
I mean, there's good folk fretting about them they care about. And at the same time, there's the likes of that young man who killed Kylie being rushed into hospital. I don't think I could give the same care to the bad un as the good un. No, not, not when I saw... Oh, I'd not go in there with the shoes all polished up. Anna's got the mop and bleach out. Oh, good. It's nearly done. Yeah, well, the reason I walked out, Dane, is because I do flaming care. Now, will you just tell me how Clayton is? What surgery? Well, you're actually enjoying this, aren't you? Can't you stop trying to punish me for one day? Well, at least tell me what happened to him. You what? I'm saying to you! some sand and cement in the boot had been mixed by the time we got back. Shut up! Get lost, shove it! As a learner, if I killed a drunk plat, would I get off with it? Uh, are you trying to get yourself killed? Why not? It'll only wash away and be like it never happened. Come on. No, get lost. Uh, nope, I think we should get ourselves what to the curb. Get off! What are you doing? Get off! Tiniest of marks is just stones, mud, and grit. It's brought this up. No more, he just gets to do the same, does it? Just gone. For mystery, like none of it even mattered. What are you on about? Clayton. He kills Kylie, and then what? He, he just gets to die and all. She's gone, and he just gets to do the same. Who am I going to wait then? To do a wake with you. Never went to a wake. I can barely remember the funeral. Let's get you home. I'll try to block it out. It's always there, deep down. Killing him. It's like some sort of fantasy. And then when Pat said this morning, it's like someone else had done it for me. And tried to, anyway. So you've been celebrating? I should feel great. But you don't. I just feel like I've been shown what a complete idiot I am. You're doing your best, David. I mean, him being dead, what, what does it change? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Kylie's gone. If he's dead and all, what should I be cheering? Toasting the day? Nah. Maybe it's... Maybe it's part of a journey towards moving on. Maybe forgiving him. What? Could you? Forgive him for killing someone you love? I think I... I hope I'd be able to find a way to believe there's a path back for people. Well, not dead people. Not Kylie. No. But... <laughs> You're too nice. That's your trouble. It's not that, I promise you. It's not for you. You're sober. What is it? Well, that is the lining that you should have had underneath that skinful you just had. Banana. And honey. Trust me, I could write the hangover guidebook. <sighs> what are you even doing bothering with me? I have no idea. The dog's much less complicated and he's got more realistic whiskers. Seriously, though, it wastes their evening 
myself pitying drunk. Me, obviously. Why, though? Right, the truth is... No, no, no. Um, Gail! What am I missing? Um, I just... Well, he was drunk, so... Uh, you late. So I brought him back here. I made me a bunny and hun... No, a banana and honey. Sandwich, yeah. Bunny and Hanana, there's one for your recipe book. <laughs> Have you been out drinking? Uh, not me. Clayton might be dead, and... I want to wish he was, but... I hope he isn't, which I hate. Well, he isn't. I spoke to the family liaison officer. And what did she say? What did she say? He took a fall, fractured his wrist. Fractured his wrist? I thought someone tried to do him in. Yeah, well, there was trouble at the prison, but uh, he wasn't involved. It was all rumours. It was all completely unconnected to him. He's had an op, but he'll be fine. Oh, great. Can go back to waiting him now. Thank you for bringing him home. I'll take care of him now. Yeah. Listen, sorry for... You, know... <laughs> you were drunk. I make sure you eat that. Go for a shower. Go, Mom. No, Eileen? Nope. I'm home alone. What did you tell David about Clayton? Nothing. And I won't. Why were you even at my house? Most mothers would have been at their son's hospital bedside. Well, I tried. Me and his dad will. Let's just say the usual outcome when we're in a building together is us getting chucked out by security. I couldn't risk Clayton being on his own, so I had to be the one that left. Generous. Can't believe Dane let me believe Clayton was at death's door. Well, I I'm impressed that you walked away. That you sometimes realise that's for the best. Meaning? I've got £400. It's money... I can't afford to lose, but like you, I'm willing to make sacrifices for my son. It'll buy you a ticket somewhere, tide you over till you've got a job. I want you gone, Shona. Sooner the better. I was wondering if I could ask a favour. Just, I need a hair model to pose for some new styles for the salon website. Me? A hair model? <laughs> You're kidding, aren't you? Mm, yeah, you've got great hair. <laughs> Shame about the face. Oh, come on, free cut and blow. I can't turn that down, can you? Oh, go, go on, then. But don't make me look weird. I'll well, try my best. <laughs> so, what's going on between you two? No, don't be daft. I should be serving you. Eh? Special constable. Don't really get on with all that. Well, I hope I can be an exception. <laughs> you enjoying it then? Yeah. Just find it hard sometimes. You know, trying to separate from being a special and being a mate. Like with Bethany. Yeah. She's fallen out of her mum big time. And I know it's got something to do with Nathan, her boyfriend. And as a mate, I'd go around and warn him off. But as a special, I can't. She won't thank you for it anyway. Yeah. I just... Wish she'd never gone near him or his stupid tanning salon. Tanning salon? Yeah. The one on Corporation Road. Are you okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, can I take my break now? Um, yeah, of course you can. You're okay. Yeah. Never thought I'd see you here again. Miss me, have you? Yeah, like a bad rash. And why are you here? Come settle your debt. I don't owe you out. I'm here to tell you to stay away from Bethany Platt. Anyone but Bethany, yeah. I am doing you a favour. Her family are not going to let this go. Are you listening?
listening to me? Not really. When did you become so boring? I'm telling you. And why are you even interested in her? Anyway. What's she to you? Well, I know the family and they've been through a lot. And I should do you a favour because... What are you going to do for me? Go to hell. <laughs> Thing is, you're right. Turned out she was more trouble than it was worth, so I dumped her before you came. But now, seeing as you're here... Don't touch me. <laughs> Shona, it's David. Yeah, I was just wondering if you're still coming for the, um, the modelling thing. Uh, I know we said lunchtime and it, I know it's ten to one, but maybe it should have been a bit more specific. Uh, I mean, when does dinner actually end, you know? Two, half two. Uh, I mean, you're not even late yet, you know? I mean, technically you've got until like three until you're definitely late. You know those messages where you wish you just said, hi, it's David, can you give us a ring and then hang up? Yeah, well, um, hang on, can I delete all this and s start again? Hello? No, no. Well, you're just going to get this message then. Good. Well, um, listen, I'll be in the salon just doing the stock take until late. So, um, yeah, just give us a ring. All right. Bye. Shona! Shona! ABC. Hey, wait. Breathing. Call for help. Ambulance, please. Do this. This isn't me. You make me so. I hurt you. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. Oh, it's not okay. Bethany, you are different to any girl I've ever met. And that makes me scared. That I've got this whole thing wrong. You're just using me like the others. I wouldn't. I've told you things about me that I've never told anyone. And now I think, can I trust her? I thought Laura had nicked my necklace. I don't mean that. I mean things I've said. Like how much it turns me on to see you with other men. 
makes me fancy you more. I shouldn't have told you. You're too young to understand. I'm not. Let me see. I swear, I will never, ever hurt you again. But if you want to leave, I understand. No one should have to put up with something like that. Uh, I shouldn't have upset you. No, even so. You scared me. Well, maybe one day you'll understand that when you care too much for someone, you push them away. You're scared of how much it'll hurt to lose them. Here. If you can give me one more chance, then come back up to the party. If you don't come, I wouldn't blame you. I love you. No matter what you decide. Don't forget that. Coming. What did you let her go for? So she doesn't do it again. She needs to come back up for her own accord. She could be calling the police. Get out of my face. See to the guests. Make sure they pay. What if she don't come back? Then someone will need to take her place. You shouldn't have let her go. Have I? It's Shona. Listen, can you ask Eileen if she can bring some of her things to the hospital? Just in case to keep her in overnight? She got beaten up. No, I found her on my way to check on Bethany. Ah, Bethany. Bethany Platt. I'm being asked about Bethany. Is she a part of this or not? Give me a minute. I say how gorgeous you are in that dress. Well, feel free to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> you are really turning me on. And not just me, either. <laughs> you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Don't want to make people jealous, do we? Why don't you go and get comfy? In there.
Anthony. She's in trouble. Mel, can you get Nathan? They won't listen. Who? They're in the wrong room. Mel, tell them. What sort of that? Nothing, hon. Have fun. That's what she gets for sticking up for Bethany. Was it Nathan? Nathan doesn't get his hands dirty. I mean, yeah, we all knew it was bad news, but this. I said he's not. He's been grooming her, Sarah. He's been grooming loads of them. Where is she? Where is she? Get in! Which one? This one up here. How long? Everybody out! We're gonna be raided! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, everybody out! Bethany! 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 Charlie, where are you? Oi! Oi! You! You and your sick mates. Get away from Please me! Stop where you are! Keep your hands where we can see them! Nathan Curtis, I'm arresting you on suspicion of grievous bodily harm, Get your hands causing the sexual it. exploitation of a child. I've not laid a finger on anyone. You don't have to say anything, but he may arm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Have you heard yourself? Are you mad? Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Where were you? Two minutes earlier, you caught them all. That's all right now, sweetheart. You're safe. Yeah. It doesn't take three of you. And he was a good listener. He bailed me out. And suddenly, somehow, both of us are in hock to his mate. He says I'm having this party and that I could earn the dosh. It hit me. He wasn't my boyfriend. He was just a pimp. And I felt so stupid. But when you're skint and lonely... Was he violent? Did anyone see him? <sighs> Do you think he's that daft? Is there any names you remember? <sighs> it was months ago. Well, nicknames will do. If anything comes back to you, you know, no matter how small it is. I'll then... tell you. Of course I will. I'm one of the lucky ones. Sounds like it. Right, I'll let them know. Thanks. Um, I need you at the station on Admiral Street. Apparently they've got a special suite where they can do the physical examination. I'm not going. We need evidence. We need to stop him doing this to all the girls. Doing what? Grooming them, abusing them. Abuse. We're engaged. Bethany, we found you in a bedroom with three men. You don't even know. I'm talking. I'm hearing this. Garrett, I'm hearing this. Take me to see Nathan first. He's under arrest. Yeah, for GBH. For child exploitation, you heard. Rubbish. Do you want to make it stick, any of it? Well, in the meantime, you're just going to stop here, are you? It's a crime scene. 
take me to yours, then. After the doctor examines you. No! Do you not listen to a word? <laughs> what has he done to her? I just can't take this. Any better? Oh, I've got low blood sugar. This is, uh, know what you were saying before about the stuff Beth would say. Oh, she might be one of the lucky ones. She wasn't with him that long. She got a family to rally round. Yeah, and someone to take a beating for her then come back for more work. Hey, hey, hey! Shona, Shona, help! Help, somebody! Shona, Shona, wake up. Listen to me, Shona. Are you hungry? She's been drinking food, it'd be good. Will my fiancé be getting fed? No chance. He's probably getting battered. Don't, Mum. No, I could have stopped this. I should have seen through that mail from the start. They can't keep him for more than 24 hours. I've Googled it. She can't even see it. Yeah. She refused to be examined. She won't give them a statement. And she thinks that he's the victim. He's got a hold over us. It's, it's going to take time. Yeah, we haven't got time, though, have we? And what if she's right? What if the police, they can't put a case together? Tomorrow night, she's going to be back in that flat, back in that bedroom with God knows who for company. She won't come down. She hasn't touched the breakfast either. I should have kept her on a leash like I did when she was little. Oh, if only. <laughs> I'd still have all three of mine on leashes if I could. <laughs> One of mine's cycling across South America. I haven't slept a wink. Ruptured spleen that I'm operating this morning. Shona. Sorry, just to be clear. If Bethany's willing to talk, then you can definitely prosecute. Well, if we can gather all the facts, we'll do our best. It uh, gets complicated when the child's over the age of consent, but if we can prove that she was coerced into this relationship and that he made her do things with other men in return for payment, then we might be talking about rape or controlled prostitution for gain. But it's not an easy road. The men who do this know the rules. They make it difficult to prove. And that's why we need Bethany to cooperate and testify. That's what I'm worried about. You spoke to St. Nicholas about this, does he know? Nick's gone. What? Well, gone where? He's left Leanne. And Weatherfield. For good? Oh, no. I'm just praying everything went okay. I mean, they, they took her down first thing this morning. I just hope it's all over by now. I mean, she, she texted to say that someone had a go at her, but... I mean, you nothing about any of this. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you there on that. Well, you should, do you want to jump in with us if you like? No, no, honestly, it's fine. Can you just make sure you bring us some clothes, though? Yeah, we will. Thanks. Right. Anybody got any change? The parking is a nightmare at the General. Nathan, does that name mean anything to you? Do you know what? It, it does ring a bell, actually. Yeah. I've never heard him mention him. Still. Sounds like they've got him. Mm. Did, uh, did David seem a bit keen to you? I did think that. Well, uh, I thought it might be mutual. I mean, I've, I've seen him chatting a few times. I thought she was a bit sweet on him. Yeah, I've been saying that for ages. But I'll tell you what, there is a lot we don't know about that girl anyway. And David cares, obviously. Mm. Funny old world. Mm. <laughs> I hope she's okay. 
Yeah, me too. Sharon's family? Uh, yeah, well, um, friends. How did it go? Uh, very well, I'm happy to say, but she's been through the ringer. Can I see her? Can we see her? I'm going to suggest you'll come back tomorrow. Is she going to pull through quickly? It wasn't the easiest operation. She developed some internal scars from her C-section. C-section? Uh, well, we've, we've only known her since Christmas, and um, she was having a, a bit of a difficult time of it, and, well, what can you do? It's not fancy dress. We'll speak again, I'm sure. Did you know she had a kid? Mm. A son, but she lost him. Bethany! I spoke to your mum. What? I didn't know anything about it. What did she say to you? Do you want to come back to mine? You've done nothing wrong, OK? Nobody has done anything wrong. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Are you sure? Because from what your mum said... My mum sounded... shouldn't go around spreading rumours about me, OK? Oh, Bethany, thank goodness. Now, I came to see you earlier. They said you'd gone for a walk. Please tell me you've spoken to the police. About what? About that rotten boyfriend of yours. He's my fiancé. Oh. What are you still doing here? I have never been so humiliated in my life as I was last night when my entire family crashed our party. Yes, and if they hadn't, where do you think you'd be now? At home, with Nathan, where I belong. Bethany, for goodness sake. They dragged you out of her bedroom with three men oh, there. I'm not listening to this. Oh. Bethany, she saved your life. What? Shona, she joined up the dots, you and Nathan, and now she could have been killed because of it. She's lying in hospital because of what that scum had done to her. Nathan had nothing to do with it, all right? If you want to know the truth, Shona fancied him, but Nathan wasn't interested. And now she's doing everything she can to get her own back. Who told you that? Nobody, it's just obvious. Who told you that? It's that girl who works downstairs. Hey, David, please, go home, darling. Come on, you, inside. Well, right, she's got it all wrong. Yes, I know, love. It's all wrong. So you told them everything? Full and frank confession, which I completely contradicted. And this sudden recollection you had. You never had it from me, did you, when I got arrested both times? Nothing came back to you then. You weren't entirely innocent. God, I should have called for an ambulance. I go over it and over in my head every day. Yeah. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. I shouldn't have burnt all that money. It was impetuous of me. And if I'd known where it was going to lead... Look, I'm sorry. But all I wanted was your help. Instead, you said no, enough. But to Daniel, you said yes. <sighs> Daniel been going through a difficult period. And I played my part in that, too. Look, he didn't mean for me to end up at the bottom of the stairs like that. Don't let him talk as we have this. True. Like I never meant to leave you lying there. And you never meant to burn that money. You're right, hindsight is a wonderful thing. But I'm not pretending to be a saint, and neither are you. <sighs> His mother came back. What? When? didn't even know she was alive. And he went to pieces right in front of us. So what was I supposed to do? After everything he'd been through. You must know how worried your mother is. Yeah, well, she shouldn't be. Well, you can't see what we can, very clearly. You can't see what I can, all right? You don't know him. You're living in the dark ages. Is he sharing you? Bethany? No. What is it? Is it him? Bethany! Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Sinead's still in there. Don't talk to me. We'd still be together 50 years from now if it weren't for you worming your way into her life. She doesn't want to speak to you. Did she say that? I can tell. Hey! You leave my son alone. When did your mum come back on the scene? Who's asking? Chesney's sister, that's who's asking. And who might Chesney be? Uh. Jeanette. Oh, are you serious? Just go home, Daniel. Is this her? Five minutes, five minutes. That's all I'm asking for. Who are you? I'm his mother. And you've a lot to answer for. You know, she's not answering any of my calls. She was giving Grant a right mouthful. I did enough of this. Seen there? She's calm. Yes, 
How long have you been there? A while. Didn't want to wake you. How are you feeling? Apart from the ruptured spleen. Great. How's Bethany? Better, thanks to you. Right, well, that's the small talk out the way. What are you really here for? David knows you've got a child. One of the doctors mentioned that you'd had a C-section. Eileen and Todd know, so we need to think of something to tell them. We? I've seen the way he looks at you. And if David finds out you're Clayton's mother, and I knew, you'll never forgive me. It's not like you haven't done it before. Shh, he's here. All right. I want you to go by now. No, I didn't expect to stay this long, but uh, we just got chatting, didn't we? Yeah. Um, actually, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, would you mind giving us a minute? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go get a cup of tea. What did you want to talk about? About my son. He's a little boy. Blonde hair, gorgeous blue eyes. But his dad, well, let's just say he wasn't the best role model. What, what do you mean? Did, did he hurt you? No, he never hit me. He just treated me like it was dirt. All kids pick up on things, don't they? And then when we split up, he went to live with his dad, and that's when he really changed towards me. Just like his dad, he treated me like I was nothing and I meant nothing. And that's when I really lost him. How old was he? Ten. Six years ago. Have you seen much of him since? Christmas, that's what I think, but... He's made it perfectly clear he wants nothing to do with me. Well, that doesn't mean that you should give up on him. Because whether he knows it or not, he still needs you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's all right. It's gonna be all right. What was he called? Tom. His name's Tom. 